Hello friends. In this video, I am going to write a C program to print right triangle star pattern. So I am using dev C++ and in that the program structure is something like this in which uh, before the main function uh, there should be int rather than wide. So because of int we need to return something and I am returning zero here. And uh, I will write the complete program and then will uh, print the expected pattern and uh, then after I will uh, make you sure about the logic behind the uh, program right so firstly let me write the program so we have needed some declarations I J capital N for a number of rows and columns and then after we have to take some input from user enter value of n then after scan f percent d comma m percent capital n and then after we have to iterate the loop i equal to one i less than equal to n i plus plus then after I have to write another loop for j equal to 1 j less than equal to i and j plus plus and inside of it I am going to write the star and uh, once we come out from this we are going to print backslash and for new line so now let's run this program so we have to enter the value of n which is like for example 8 so now you can see the right triangle which is absolutely running fine right so this is the exact uh, pattern which we were expecting so let me uh, tell you the logic behind this program actually we needed uh, uh, to print uh, a right triangle so for that as you know that uh, uh, you have seen uh, just uh, the number of rows are increasing and number of columns are also going to increase but at the start you have seen that there are, there is there was one star and then after we had and there is another star let me uh, show you the output screen for example 8 right so you have seen the output over here so what we did is uh, for i equal to 1 and i less than equal to 1 uh, and actually this loop is counting the number of rows so we are uh, we are going up to n number of rows and then we are going to print the columns so the logic uh, exactly we need to take care is uh, the number of columns because the number of rows are all, all always increasing but the number of columns are going to be managed so how we have managed actually we have managed by counting uh, the columns up till the number of uh, the current uh, number of row means the current value of the row for example we have the first row then uh, only one uh, column will, would be added if there is this is the second row then we can say that the number of columns would uh, this loop would iterate for number of columns for uh, for the value uh, two and uh, print two star then three star then four and so on and uh, once complete a single uh, row then we also needed uh, a new line so for that we have written backslash n so this is the idea behind actually you need to manage the number of columns and what need to manage actually you have to think about that in a single row how many stars I needed to print so I already explained that you have needed to print the uh, number of star up to the value of the current row which is going on so for example the current row is 1 then you have to print 1 star for 2 you have to print up to 2 star and going to start from 1 to 2 then 3 1 2 3 then four num uh, fourth number of rows then you have to go up to four 
so this is the way you should uh, uh, carry on and definitely you will uh, end up with a, the pattern which is looking on the output screen thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead